In this video, I would like to show you how to knit this neat edge for your ribbing. This is going to be the neck opening for a jumper. I've already knit my ribbing and now I've knit this section here that will stop the ribbing from stretching out of shape. It looks very professional and it's very easy to knit. I'll show you the reverse side. This is what it looks like on the reverse side. It looks neat. I'm using our unspun lamb's wool roving yarn and I'm using two strands, one from the center, one from the center and one from the edge of the plate. And I'm also using one strand of silk mohair held together. So if you would like to see how to make this neat edge for your ribbing, please continue watching this video. Okay, so I've knit the rib part of my neckline. Um, so the first thing you want to do is to change to smaller needles. I've been knitting with needles number four and a half millimeters and I'm going to change to 3.75 millimeters for the next part of this video. Okay, so I changed to 3.75 mil needles. So you want to change about two or three, maybe even four sizes down from whichever needle size you were using to knit the main part of the rib. So the first thing to do is you put on a stitch marker to mark the beginning of round. Uh, the first step is you do a yarn forward this way and knit one. Repeat this all the way around. This is done to double the number of stitches that you have on your needle. Uh, I will do this off camera and get back to you as soon as I'm done. Okay, so I've knit to the end of the round. The next round you slip marker and this stitch that was before a yarn forward, we will purl it through the front loop curl through the front loop. The next knit stitch we slip with the yarn held at the back and this is repeated all the way around. So we purl the next stitch from the front loop and slip the next stitch yarn behind work. Purl through the front loop Slip, yarn behind work, curl through the front loop, slip, yarn behind work. We do this all the way around until we get back to the stitch marker. I will do this off camera and come back when it's done. Okay, I finished round two. Round three works this way. Slip marker. The purl stitch will now be slipped with the yarn in front. So I put the yarn in front and slip the purl stitch. The knit stitch we knit. Purl stitch is slipped with the yarn held in front of work. The knit stitch is knitted. And this is repeated all the way around. Slip, purl, knit. Slip, purl. Knit. Slip the purl stitch with the yarn in front. Knit the knit stitch. Slip the purl stitch with the yarn in front. Knit the knit stitch. And this is done all the way around to the marker. Okay, uh, now up, we're up to round four. Slip marker. And round four is knitted by purling the purl stitch and slipping the knit stitch yarn behind work. Repeat all the way around. Purl the purl stitch, slip the knit stitch yarn behind work. Once again, purl the purl stitch, sorry, purl the purl stitch. Slip the knit stitch yarn behind work. 
Curl the next purl stitch, slip the knit stitch, yarn behind work. Repeat all the way around to the marker. Okay, I finished row four and now we're up to row five. In row five, we knit two stitches together to return to the original number of stitches. So for example, I had 76 stitches originally, then I doubled them in the first round and now we will return back to 76 stitches. So what you do is you slip marker and purl the first two stitches together. Purl two together and repeat this all the way around. Purl two together and do this all the way around to the marker. Okay, I've done row five. I've purled two together all the way to the stitch marker and at this point you can change back to the needle size you would like to use for knitting the main section of your jumper. I'm using, I was using four and a half to knit the rib, then I changed to 3.75 mil for this portion and now I'm going to change to five millimeters to knit the main section of my jumper. I've knitted one more round, just plain knitting all the way around, and you can see how neat this neckline looks. I'll show you from the reverse. It's still very neat on this side. Uh, this uh, neckline is very useful because it stops the neck uh, from stretching. It stops the ribbing from stretching too far and getting out of shape. Um, so thank you for watching. Uh, I really appreciate that you saw this video. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.